Judges 1. After Joshua's death, the Israelites asked the Lord, who should go first to fight for us against the Canaanites? The Lord said, the tribe of Joshua will go up. I've handed over the land to them. So the tribe of Judah said to the tribe of Simeon, their brothers, come up with us into our territory and let's fight against the Canaanites. Then we'll go with you into our territory too. So Simeon went with them. When Judah went up, the Lord handed the Canaanites and Prenanites. They defeated 10,000 men at Brzezik. They, there, there they found And Doni at Brzeek fight against him and defeated the Canaanites and the Prisonites. Adoni Brzeek fled, but they chased him, captured him, and cut off his thumbs and big toes. He said, 70 kings with, with severed thumbs and big toes used to pick up scraps under the table. So God pa has paid me back exactly for what I did. They brought him to Jerusalem where he died. The the people of Judah fought against Jerusalem and captured it. They killed its people with their swords and set the city on fire. Afterwards, the people of Judah went down to fight against the Canaanites who lived in the highlands, the southern plains, and the western foothills. Judah moved against the Canaanites who lived in Hebron. known before as Carneth of Brebra, and they defeated Shahari, Ah, Ammonite, and Telmanite. From there they moved against those who lived in Debar, Debir, known before as Kareth, Shapir. Caleb said, I'll give my daughter to Ashlyn as a wife to the one who defeats and captured Karnath Shapir. Orthel, son of Kenaz, Caleb's younger brother, captured it. 
So Caleb gave him his daughter, Ashen, as his wife. When she arrived, she convinced Orthel to ask her father for a certain piece of land. As she got down from her donkey, Caleb said to her, What do you want? Ashlyn said to Caleb, Give me a gift since you've given me land in the southern sp plain. Give me springs of water. So Caleb gave her the upper and lower springs. The descendants of Moses, father-in-law, Canaanite, went up with the pe people of Judah from Palm City into Judean Desert, which was in the southern plain near Arad. They went and lived with the Ammonites. Then the Judahites went to the Simeonites their brothers, and that they defeated the Canaanites who lived in Zip, Zippeth. And they completely destroyed it. So the city was called Harmon. Harma. Judah also captured Garza and Ashkelon. Ekron, Ekron, and all their territories. Thus the, the Lord was with the tribe of Judah as they took possession of the highlands, whatever they did not drive out those who lived in the plain because they had iron chariots. They gave Hebron to Caleb, just as Moses had commanded, and they drove out from there the three sons of Arnik. But the people of ben Benjamin did not drive out the Jebunites who lived in Jerusalem. So the Jerusalemites still live. The Jebunites still live with the people of Benjamin in Jerusalem today. In the same way, Joseph's household went up against Bethel, and the Lord was with them. When the men they sent to spy on Bethel, previously named Lewis, the, spy, the spies saw a man coming out of the city and they said to him, Show us the way into the city, 
and will be loyal to you in return. So he showed them the way into the city. They killed the city's people with their swords, but they let the man and all his relatives go. The man went to the land of the Hittites and built a city. He named it Louise, which is still the name today. The tribe of Manish did not drive out the people of Beshin to Nor Dor Alam. Big Ditto. Or any of their villages. The Can the Canaanites were demanded to demanded to live in the land when Israel became stronger. They forced the Canaanites to work for them. But they did not completely drive them out. The tribe of Ephraim didn't drive out the Canaanites living in Gezar, so the Canaanites kept living there with them. Verse 30. The tribe of Zepulon did not drive the people living in Ketron or Nepal. Nepal. These Canaanites lived with them, but forced to work for them. The tribe of Asher did not drive out the people living in Akokoi. Sinon, Alam, ACB, Azim, Helba, Alpa, Hennig, Rehob. The people of Asher settled among the Canaanites in the land because they couldn't drive them out. The tribe of Nepali didn't drive out the people living in Bethshebush or Bethanic, but settled among the Canaanites living in the land The people living in Beth Shemesh and Beth Anak were forced to work for them. The Ammonites pushed the people of Dan back into the highlands because they wouldn't allow them to come down to the plain. The Ammonites were determined to live in Her Ares, Ajak, and Shalom, but Joseph's household became too strong, and the Ammonites were forced to work for them. The border of the Ammonites ran into the Arkham Pass from Sheila and upward. Thank you for listening to this chapter, and I'm sorry that I pronounced some of the words wrong, but have a great day.